What's up everybody, Nook is back here for two Hallmark reviews. I got two more coming to you this week. Uh, I took a little break from Hallmark. You want to know why? Well, Christmas starts on October 22nd. The new Christmas films start. We have a preview for the Great American Country Family. No, the Great American Family. The GAC Family Christmas Movies. Uh, it is owned by the former CEO of Hallmark. It's going to be... Ones with the same stars. We have the Home and Family crew coming back to do the preview special. So, here we go. Love Strikes Twice. This was last week's premiere. Love Strikes Twice is all about Mary and Josh are out of sync. And they are a married couple who have been married for a while and together for a very long time. Maggie wishes for a do-over and wakes up 15 years earlier. Will she choose Josh again or is an ex-boyfriend her happily ever after? This movie did not look promising to me. Uh, I, I personally chose not to watch this when it premiered uh, because I thought the trailer just looked very mediocre. I thought this could have been a bit of a Halloween-ish type movie, but they went with their normal Hallmark formula, which is fine. This just didn't fit fall. This should have just been a bonus premiere. You could have made a fall harvest film that actually felt like fall harvest. Katie Finley and Wyatt Nash star as Maggie and Josh. This is a actress. Maggie Turner is a character who I was not all that intrigued in. This is not her Hallmark debut for Katie Finley. Katie Finley was in The Bridge and The Bridge Part 2, but she's also been in Jim and the Holograms and Pre Premature and Crash Sites and stuff like that. Now, Wyatt Nash... Wyatt Nash plays Josh Turner. Great. You use the name of one of my favorite country artists. Thank you. Uh, Wyatt Nash is known from, like, Cats and Dogs, The Bridge, and The Bridge Part 2. So you could have made another Bridge movie, you know. You had the couple. Well, couple. I, I haven't seen th those two movies yet. But you could have made a third Bridge movie. You could have made another Fall Harvest movie with them. He was also in Petals on the Wind and Ford v. Ferrari. This is a film that really, really disappointed me. Because I was going in with the lowest of expectations. And I think it still kind of just went below the radar as a Hallmark film. And I'll go into why in just a minute. But let's take a look at this director. This director is Jeff Beasley. Jeff Beasley is no stranger to Hallmark. He's done a lot of Christmas films. He's done a mystery. This is his second attempt at a normal Hallmark movie. His first attempt was Snow Kissed uh, with Jen Lilly and Chris McNally. I really like that one. I know a lot of people, it wasn't their cup of tea, and I completely get why, uh, but I really liked it. I liked his other films, Holiday Date, and The Christmas Club. I do not remember Project Christmas Wish. I don't. I know I watched it. I don't remember what I rated it. Uh, he also did the mystery that I don't want to talk about to catch a spy. Um, so he's not on the greatest streak right now for Hallmark this year. He has had three of them, and I'm hoping that he does a Christmas film, that he has a Christmas film coming out. I, I don't know if he will. I don't know... Does not tell me here on Letterboxd. But this film was really missing a lot of things. And what is it missing? It's missing chemistry between the two stars. It's missing a good script. It's missing a compelling relationship that you are actually cheering for them to end up married. But the problem is this movie is missing a bunch of stuff. N namely, good acting. The acting is fine. It's just, at some moments, it's very, very just bland acting. The story is bland. It's a story we've seen a hundred times. But it's kind of like a back in time mixed with, do I actually love my husband? So I'm going to compare this to just the way you are with Candace Cameron Bure. That's a very good Hallmark film. It's a very different Hallmark film. It's not about 
falling in love with somebody. It's about falling back in love with someone you are already married to. You're having problems with. That's a very good idea that they need to do more. And they kind of do that with this one, but the chemistry just isn't there. And the screenplay just does not work for this film. I thought this was a very bland Hallmark film. It's one of the worst of the year, in my opinion. I did not like it whatsoever. Uh, but I am going to say there are a couple positives. The costume design is very pretty. And the production design and cinematography is great. Other than that, there were some points where you could definitely tell that there were some ADRing issues. I don't know if it was a problem with the actual channel. But sometimes the lips just didn't match up with... Uh, sorry. The words didn't match up with their mouths. I was trying to figure out how to say that. Their lips and words did not match. I thought it was a little too loud with some of the ADRing as well. So this one had some obvious ADRing. I don't know if it was a sound issue, but wow, this movie had a lot more issues than the good majority of the Hallmark films. This is not the worst of the year for me for Hallmark. I still dislike playing Cupid more, but I like this more uh, than a couple of the mysteries. But with that being said, it's going to be in my top 10 least favorite Hallmark films of the year. I don't see a lot of Christmas films m making it below this one. This is Love Strikes Twice, starring Katie Finley and Wyatt Nash, directed by Jeff Beasley. And I'm going to give Love Strikes Twice a C-. I thought this was a very eh Hallmark film. This did not do very well in the ratings. It dropped almost 100,000 viewers uh, from taking the reins, but that's because there was no recognizable stars. Uh, if you're new to the Hallmark channel, you don't know who Wyatt Nash is. You don't know who Katie Finley is. And you don't care about directors. You don't care about directors. You're sitting there watching it. I personally care about, about directors because I like going back and looking at their film history with the Hallmark Channel. But going from Roadhouse Romance to Raise a Glass to Love and then with a slight downturn, just a slight down spiral with Taking the Reins, which was still a good film. Love Strikes Twice. And now we go into South Beach Love. And that will be coming later this week. I have not heard the best things about that. And I have not heard the best things about the vows we keep. But what did I think about the new Hallmark Movies and Mystery movie starring Sam Page and Sarah Drew one summer? You'll have to check out that review up next.